welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christy and this is Christy Creates. And if you're not new, welcome back. So today we are going to do my craft room tour that you guys have been anxiously awaiting. I'm sorry it has taken me so long to get it, but as you guys know, life happens. <laughs> so we are going to start off with one of the pieces that Solder Furniture sent me. And I will link these pieces down below so that if you love any of these pieces, you can go get some yourself. But I was super grateful that they sent me these pieces to, you know, incorporate into my craft room because I love each one of them so much. So this is more of just an actual wardrobe that you can use in your home to store clothing, but I'm going to use it as all of my wood storage. So wood signs, little wood plaques, wooden letters, anything like that that has to do with wood pieces, it goes in here. Um, so you've got little storage shelf and then this is one big open piece. And I love that I can stick some bins in here, hide it away from everything. And I think I'm actually going to change off all of these knobs into pretty sparkly crystal knobs. <laughs> So, and another thing I'm going to be incorporating on my channel, so you know me as doing Dollar Tree DIYs, mostly farmhouse DIYs, occasionally a boho or something like that. I am going to start doing some farmhouse fancy DIYs. So my new house, it's farmhouse because I'm a farm girl. I grew up on a farm, but I love everything sparkle and bling and pretty and colorful. So I thought it would be best for me to incorporate something that more speaks to what I would actually have in my home. Yes, I have some farmhouse pieces that are distressed and strictly farmhouse, but I also have chandeliers, as you can see by the chandelier in my craft room, which is also a ceiling fan, I might add. <laughs> um, you know, incorporating sparkly things in with my farmhouse decor. So be expecting that and i will try to when i create the videos that are farmhouse fancy i will show you how to do it strictly farmhouse but then i will also show you how to bling it out to make it more your own if you love sparkles like i do so with that being said um i will show you now we do have some lighting set up in here just so that you can see a little bit better but this will be my staging area. So I did a shiplap wall and I made a faux little mantle here. Got these corbels at either Lowe's or Home Depot one. I'm going to put a screw up there. And so anytime I make like some sort of a photo, a canvas or whatever, I will hang it up on this wall for you guys to have the photo on Instagram or for a thumbnail. Um, if I make, you know, like a candlestick, I will sit it up there. And this will be where I take those photos for you guys. So then moving on to this piece, this was another piece that Sauter sent me and it has six cubbies on each side. So you have 12 cubbies total and you can get whatever kind of cubbies that you want. And then you also have drawers and these drawers slide through. They're the whole width of the cabinet. So they slide through to both sides. So you can get like if you've got your glue right here, but you're on this side of the table, you can pull the drawer out and you can get two anything that's in that drawer from either side. But it does have cubbies on both sides, which I love. And I love that it's like more of a counter height table because that's how I like to work. I like to work standing up. But you can also pull a bar stool up to this if you like to sit while you're working. And so yeah, and I love that the top, I don't know what exactly they make this out of, but it's a solid piece. And every time I get anything on it, it literally rubs right off. So it's a very smooth surface, but it doesn't like stain or anything. I don't know what it is, but like, I mean, I've not gotten paint on it or anything, but every time I've got something on it that I thought would not come off, it like wipes right off. So, all right. And then we will go on around here. So I've got my flower storage and this is just a triangle grid. I got this on Amazon. And I just stick all my florals down in here so that you basically make like a floral wall. But then on the back side, I get some of the little S hooks from like the Dollar Tree and you can hang up like your wreath forms or any little buckets if you wanna put some florals down in the buckets. 
You can get some of those fabric bins from the Dollar Tree, but I love how it's like functional, but it's still fun and pretty and makes your room feel like you've got like a floral decoration in here. So then we've got this piece here. This is a piece that Sauter also sent me. Um, it's called a craft tower. So it has a base and it will spin all the way around. So it's got four different sides. You have a pegboard, you have a cork board, you have two very large drawers. You have these little shelves. You have those on the top of this side and on the bottom of the other side. I added a little hook from the Dollar Tree so I could hang one of my Cricut mats up there. And then you've also got storage on top if you want you know, to set something up there, which I just put some of my extra florals that weren't really long enough to put in my little floral wall. And then on the back side of this, you've got just two large shelves that you can put some big bins in or, or whatever you wanna put there. I do love that that spins around and you've got like different little areas that you can add stuff. And I tried to make everything rainbow in here just because I love bright, fun colors. I love sparkly things. So everything that I decorated in here, I mean, I went for sparkle or rainbow. That's why I did my rainbow makeup today. Um, it just makes me happy. I love seeing all of these bright colors. Like it, I walk into this room and it makes me smile. So I hope you guys love it like I do. So then we will walk over here. I have a whole lot of glitter because I used to do the um, epoxied cups. So I had this storage of glitter and it went with my theme. So we're like, we are sticking this in here because I do still use glitter from time to time. This is my work table. This is just an old dining room table that we used to have and I painted it white so that it would go in here well. I did paint the walls in this room white I put down the light whitewashed flooring and then I painted the ceiling, this pretty pop of like an aqua color. And then over here, I added the create letters and on top of those, I did a black and aqua rhinestone, which again brings in that sparkle, which I love. And you know me, I mean, create is in my name, but that's what I love to do. I've always loved to create things. I love anytime you're any sort of an artist you're creating all the time. So it just kind of reminds me of like what I love to do when I come in here. So then here is my, this is where I actually film my videos. So if you're seeing me watching my hands make something, it's on this desktop here. This is my lighting. I went ahead and left it in here. Yes, it doesn't look the prettiest, but this is real life. This is what it looks like at all times. I did go ahead and at Ikea, I found these really cool picture ledge shelves and I thought those would be perfect to just dress up my space. Like this is stuff that I use from time to time. So I used colored pins. You've got beads, you've got glitter, you've got all kinds of little push pins. You've got Chanel stems and pom poms, rubber bands. And I just thought, I mean, I use these things. Why don't I put out the bright fun colors where I'm decorating everything else and make it a feature wall. I mean, you know that we use spray paint from time to time and acrylic paint. So I just tried to zhuzh it up everywhere. I mean, we're just putting all these bright colors everywhere we can. And I thought this was a really cool addition. Plus it's right in front of where I work. So I see it all the time and it continues to make me smile. Underneath my table, this isn't the pretty area, but this is, like I said, real life. I do have a lot of these little um, carts and I fill them up. So this one has most of my chalk paint or Mod Podge. The back one has like a lot of my acrylic paints. You just have random stuff like some of my paint pins and that way I can just roll the cart out when I need that cart. But then when I'm not using it, I could roll it back in and it's kind of out of sight <laughs> somewhat. Then I did another little feature wall like since it's kind of over here in my workspace. I got these clear, I think they're nail polish shelves and I got those on Amazon and I went gung ho. Like I was like, let's go for the gold here. We're going to put a rainbow paint wall. I mean, cause who doesn't love a rainbow paint wall, right? <laughs> so also make sure that if you're going to stand in here for long periods of time that you get yourself one of these um, anti-fatigue mats. They are so nice on your feet. It makes your back not hurt as bad. So 
then um, this is also, I don't think I've ever shown anybody this, but this is what I film with. So this is my camera that I film with at all times. And this is the Glide Gear. Um, it, they sent me this so that I could try and use it. And it actually works perfect because it gets that shot straight down over my workspace. It lifts it the right amount. You can actually adjust it to be closer if you want, but that's like the perfect height for me. So if you guys are interested in that, I can get you the link to that as well. So then we're going to go over here to another solder piece. This is a base piece and a hutch. So it's two separate pieces, but this has four drawers on the bottom and then the large little slot there. And then you have like a worktop if you just wanted it to be a little table in your room. And then you've got the hutch, which also has storage in it as well. And then I found those cute little bins at Sam's Wholesale um, Discount Place, what, Sam's Club. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And um, then I just added some more of Pops of Colors, stuff that I actually use, like embroidery thread. And then I've got a lot of my little extra pieces back there in the taller ones. I've got colored buttons. So then we come over to our double-sided desk. This is another solder piece. Um, it has a drawer on each side, which is a really big drawer, and then you've got your two little slots, which you can, I've just got the little Dollar Tree bins there. I also have these little rolly chairs on both sides. I got those on Amazon from a company, and I can link those for you if you like those. Um, but I like that it's so wide, you can scoot your computer back and actually have a very large workspace from one side, or you can scoot your computer up and have you know, workspace on both sides. So if that's what works better for you, then it's an amazing piece. I love this desk so much. I also added a little five drawer shelf down there under the end, which I got from Amazon. And that just gave me some like drawer space under there. But yeah, I love this desk. I love how big it is, but it doesn't actually take up like a ton of space. So that's amazing. Then we're going to go over here to behind me. So when I film my intros and my outros for YouTube, I will be sitting at this chair right here. Um, like I said, I've got the little rolly chair here and that way this will be my new backdrop. So I ordered this Christy Creates, which is a wood cutout on Amazon. And then I took some more of those rhinestones and I covered them completely. And I even put some of the fairy lights on the back so that if I want to backlight it, I can do that for you as well. And since I'm starting my second channel, which is for makeup, which you guys know, I'm not an expert. I'm not a makeup artist or anything like that, but I love to play in makeup. So I just thought, I mean, why not start a second channel where I can like get fun and creative and put some little rhinestones on my face or whatever. Stuff that I wouldn't normally, you know, wear when I go to Walmart or something. Um, so I went ahead and got these drawer sets here. These are all off of Amazon and they're just small little drawers. And I'm going to fill this up with a whole bunch of makeup. That's why I've got my makeup brushes back there. Some of my liquid lips and lip glosses, a few of my palettes. That's what this storage is for completely. Um, like I said, this will be my backdrop, but my makeup will all be stored in here. And that way when I'm filming at this area, this will be where I also film my makeup videos. I can turn around and reach for whatever I need to grab and it'll be right there close. Plus it's got a place to go. And then it gives me a little bit more storage back here behind me. So if you recognize this piece, this was one of my pieces I made on the creative champion contest. So I thought it of course needed a little space bought in my craft room. Um, and then of course on this piece, I also added some more of those bins like I did over there. And I put the letters up here again. I have create over there. I have create here. I just wanted to remind myself of what I'm in here to do. It, it brings in some more of the colors, but it still like goes back to why I started my channel so that I could create with you guys, which is what's fun to me. Um, so that's basically everything in here. I do also have a closet, but it's just extra storage. It's nothing that, you know, I've got awesome pieces. I just basically took a bunch of bins and totes and you just stack them up in there. Label the best you can. And that way, when you do reach for something, you know right where it's at. 
Um, this video, even though I'm releasing it today, Heidi Sonbull and Leon Nepp from DIY Beauty on Purpose. So Heidi Sonbull's channel is Heidi Sonbull DIY and then Leon Nepp is DIY Beauty on Purpose. They are doing a craft room tour playlist where everybody's like redoing their craft rooms and putting out a video so that you can see it so you can get some inspiration. I am releasing my video early because I needed to get it out so that Sodder could get, you know, their pieces on a video. Um, but I will be adding this video to that playlist when it comes out. And I believe the playlist comes out on July 5th. So if you would like to watch that, come back to this video on July 5th. And at that point, I will link the playlist down in my description box. And then you can go check out everybody's craft rooms so that you can get lots of inspiration also. Um, like I said, I would like to thank Sodder for sending me these pieces because they have like completed my craft room. This is like the craft room of my dreams. The only way it could be any better is if it was like 3,000 square feet by itself with more furniture. <laughs> so, um, I think that's everything. Just make sure that if you love it, give me a thumbs up. If there's anything that was your favorite, Make sure you leave me a comment down below. Like I said, I am coming back. This is my first video back from when we moved. Um, I will be coming out with two more videos this week. So on Tuesday, I have two videos coming out. I accidentally double booked myself. So you're welcome. <laughs> you will get two videos that day. Um, and then hopefully from here on out, unless life gets in the way, I will be releasing a video every Tuesday and every Friday. And those will normally come out at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time unless I'm collabing with someone. And then at that point, they may be at a different time that day. But I will make sure to let you know in my community tab um, if it's going to be a different time. But make sure to always look for my videos on those days and times. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite, what you want me to make when I'm coming back. Like if there's something you want to see me make. Let me know about that or, you know, hey, even just say, I missed a girl. So I will see you guys on Tuesday. Bye.